That's why you, you understand. Yeah, yeah. Now after reading it, I see. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Well, let me let me just can I read this excerpt mm-hmm. and and then uh, let's jump in. I've got a hundred and twenty five million questions. <laughs> uh, <laughs> If I could, <laughs> if I could just read, <laughs> jump in and read an excerpt. Yeah. Uh, this is Pony Rides and Prostitutes with Uncle Charlie. My childhood memoirs of my uncle Charles Manson by Richard R. Glassman. Um, Glassman. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Um, I stood in the living room window. Wonderment filled my youthful eyes as Uncle Charlie walked up the path to the front door. Just like every Thanksgiving, he always showed up last, the rest of the family pretending not to be annoyed. There was something about Uncle Charlie that was different. He wasn't like the other adults. He had a swagger, a charisma, a twinkle in his eye that made me wonder if Satan had red hair surrounding his burnt asshole. I remember when he would pick me up and hug me, my cheruby face pressing into the brittleness of his endless wiry beard my nose buried deep within the entangled unkept whiskers growing from his face it stunk in there like the black leather miniskirts of a thousand bakerfield street walkers like the sheets of a motel six bed after a big rig driver had all night trucker sex with an overweight runaway from galveston or el paso It whiffed of tobacco, Velcro, and even a hint of Burger King Whopper with cheese, but somehow I liked it. It was familiar to me. It felt like home. It felt like Thanksgiving. Even after the time he pulled me in so deep, I somehow got a corn niblet stuck in my eyelid. I still loved it in Uncle Charlie's osprey nest of a beard. He was most certainly my favorite uncle. I mean... For for our viewers, our listeners, how how do how does a child have what turned out to be one of the most? Let's, uh, I hope you're not offended by this because he's family evilest people. Well, I was going to say evilest people on the planet coming for Thanksgiving dinner into your home and just you being obviously enamored with him or charmed by him somehow. 